My name is Julian Sketchley. I study English and Communications at the University of Victoria. I was the winner of last year's social media category, and my video was about Dr. Elvira's work on microfluids, which is basically creating these tiny little droplets on silicon chips that you can do biology and chemistry on really small scales. Yeah, it felt pretty good to win, because my camera's pretty expensive, so it was nice to be able to pay off a little bit of that money. Um, but also, you know, I'm pretty interested in uh, science communication, and so it felt like, hey, maybe, maybe I am pretty good at this. You know, this is something I could do in the future. My name is Colton Hash. I'm an alumni from the University of Victoria. I took computer science, visual art, and environmental studies, graduating in 2018. Um, I made a video for my project Resonant Disintegration, which is a multimedia visual art installation including this metal sculpture, projection of uh, regional climate data, as well as um, audio recordings. I was really uh, surprised to win. It was really exciting. Um, this was one of the first times I was presenting some of my work in a public setting. So yeah, following winning the Research Reels contest, I was uh, asked to speak at a few different events around campus over the last few years and um, was also uh, participated in this art residency at Ocean Networks Canada. And um, just because of all the connections I've made at UVic, it definitely made me want to continue being here and to come back for a master's program in visual arts. Um, so the video that I made for Research Reels was about my project, the Niopa Light Wand. And the Niopa Light Wand is a glow stick that is powered with bioluminescence. So yeah, Research Reels was kind of my first chance to take this thing I'd kind of been working on, um, you know, quietly and share it with the UVic research community, um, which was amazing. It was, it was an inspiring event to be a part of. And the feedback and support I got out of showcasing the video um, really like launched me into continuing to work on it. Uh, right now I'm at the Make It Zone, which is a um, kind of maker space in the Comox Valley. We, had, we just had our first Kickstarter, which was successful, and that just ended a couple of days ago. Um, you know, we're sending out over a hundred of the light wands um, to people who've really supported our work so far. I think it is very important for researchers to communicate to the general public what they're doing in a way that's um, inviting the public in and just sharing in a way that people can digest and understand. If it's something that you hope other people care about or you really care about and want to see if you can um, encourage others to get on board, then communicating that in a way that really connects with others is like, so important. Neil deGrasse Tyson said it's not it's not good enough to, to be right, you also have to be effective, right? So if you want to convince someone, if you want to show something, if you want to teach someone something, you have to, you have to make it interesting, you have to make it good. And so that's why science communication is really important.